Well, hello everyone. Good morning. Hi, good afternoon. I had to go live because I just have the most amazing synchronistic story. I am up here in Breckenridge. So beautiful. You can see the beautiful trees. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. So hi, hi Jen. So I came up to Breckenridge because my husband and my stepson are skiing and I thought I would work and do some writing at my favorite coffee shop here. Well, with the uh, restrictions, I wasn't able to sit and write in a coffee shop and my computer is dead, so I couldn't do that either. So I was kind of like, whoa, what am I supposed to be doing right now? And I had decided, I've been working on my book, Seven Years Single, and it's all about my journey in relationships in through the seven years I was single before I met Scott. And it's so intense. I mean, there were so many lessons. And the last part of the book is really hard for me to write about. It was a really toxic relationship. It was also really profound. And it was the most incredible experience of my life living on Maui. So I haven't been able to write about it. So today I decided to write about it. I thought that's what I'd do. Well, now my computer's dead. So <clears throat> I decided to walk along... <clears throat> the shops here in Breckenridge and there's a little rock and crystal shop that's pretty nice and so I thought okay I'm gonna go in this rock and crystal shop and see if there's anything for me I really haven't bought crystals in a long time and it's all of you guys that have inspired me to really get back to that you know and to bring some of that into my life so I'm walking around the crystal shop and I'm like okay you know where is their stuff for me um, is there something here and I felt like there was but I looked around and there were some pretty things but nothing that really like called my name and so what I decided to do instead was just to leave. And as I was leaving, I went behind this space. So it was like this, uh, um, I don't know, it was like the back of this display. And on the back of this display, there was a small sign and a small display of opals from the Cooper PD opal mine in Australia. And I got chills over my entire body. And here's the story. So um, back in that toxic relationship, right before I moved to Maui, I had asked Julie to do a reading for me and Jackson was his name. And so we did a reading together and we, Julie had shared with us that we had a past life at the Cooper PD mine. And I had done a lot of research after she told me that. I went and looked up the homes that we lived in and all of these things, and it had a pretty tragic ending. But in that past life, I was an Aboriginal shaman woman, and I had left that toxic relationship. And so here is in front of me this display of these opals from this very mine that I lived at that was with this person that I am having to write about now. Um, so of course I bought a stone and it's really beautiful. I'm gonna hold it up for you guys. It's so beautiful. So here it is. So beautiful. And um, I think I'm gonna make it into a necklace. But when I picked this up and I held it, it fits my thumb perfectly. And I held it in my hand and I was like, oh my gosh. <clears throat> so I bought this opal um, and I now just went to the um, troll that's here. So there's a troll here um, and I'll post pictures of that. I went to the troll because I can't write. I don't know what to do. I was like, I have to kill time. So I came to this magical troll, which is pretty amazing. And um, I just have this overwhelming energy pulsing through me from this Aboriginal shame and lifetime. So I think I'm on this little like spiritual quest in the middle of Breckenridge that I wasn't expecting because I have a couple hours before um, they're done skiing. So anyways, this is it. And you guys can just feel the energy. That's just amazing. So I'm going to post the pictures um, of all of this and I'm going to share what happens next. So. What happened next was an explosion of Shakti. This boulder opal from Cooper Pedy 
has brought me so many gifts in just a week's time. I learned of the Breakaways, an Aboriginal heritage site nearby Cooper PD, and began to research some of the Aboriginal women that were in the area. I ordered this book, The People in Between, so that I can learn more about this Aboriginal heritage that has shown itself to me. I felt called to reclaim the gifts from that lifetime, and I woke up and I worked on a painting and ended up painting this Aboriginal painting to reclaim my gifts. You have taken many births and many deaths, but you have not yet been born. Your real birth is still going to take place, and this will be the work that you transform your inner nature from forgetfulness to self-remembering. <laughs>